Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a brushed steel effect in Adobe Photoshop. So to start with, I'm going to go to File and down to New. And you can select any size, but for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the 1920 by 1080 preset. You can see all of those settings here if you'd like to create this yourself. And select Create, and we have a new canvas. So the first thing I'm going to do is from the Layers panel on the right, create a new layer and select black as the foreground color. That is 000000, 000 as the hex reference. Click OK and just left click and hold where the gradient tool is or if you have the paint bucket tool, select that. And then just left click on layer one and it will fill that with black. Now once you've done that, Go up to filter, down to noise, and select add noise. And the amount of noise that you're going to add here is going to vary if you've created a different size canvas. However, if you are following along with the 1920 by 1080 canvas size, then this is going to work for you. So as you can see, you can increase the amount of noise and effectively it increases the contrast on the image behind. And you can choose the distribution type. So we're going to use uniform and you can select monochromatic or not. And we're going to select monochromatic and it keeps it black and white. And we're going to set the amount to a nice round 150 and click OK. Now we can zoom in and you can see it looks like this. Look at all those lovely pixels, fantastic. Okay, so next we're going to go to filter again, go to blur and select motion blur. And you'll see this dialog box pops up and you can adjust the angle of the blur, like so. So you can type an angle in here or you can just drag this wheel around. We're going to set ours to zero so it goes from left to right. And you can of course adjust the distance. So we'll start from the beginning and you can drag the slider up. And you can see it's taking that pixely noise effect that we had at the beginning and it's just blurring it horizontally, which effectively gives us this brushed steel effect. I think we're going to go for somewhere around 40. Let's type a nice round 40 in and click OK. So this is what it looks like up close. And you can see it doesn't quite get the edges in. What you can do is either crop that off or just go to Edit, Free Transform, and we'll just hold Alt. And it will extend that from both edges and we'll just bring that off the edge there. And then we can then call this layer brush brushed steel effect so there we go we have our layer and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a gradient over the top of it so if we create another new layer and this time we'll select the gradient tool and from the top left corner we'll just click on that gradient slider and we'll select the default black to white to start with and we'll double click this swatch here on the bottom left and we'll bring this up here. So we'll go for a kind of mid to light gray and click OK. And we'll drag this one into the middle. So this is the white. You can see we can drag the location to, well, let's type 50%. So it's right in the middle. Double click. And we're just going to ever so slightly just bring that off white there. And if I double click this swatch on the left again, I can just copy this reference here. That's Command or Control C to copy. Or just remember that it's A7, A7, A7. And then if I click anywhere down here, it will add another swatch to the gradient slider. And I can double click on that. And either type in, oh, it's remembered it, perfect. So you can either paste in, that's Command or Control V, that six digit reference. Or if you're fortunate enough like me, it remembers it for you. Thank you, Photoshop. Very kind of you. So we've got a gradient that goes from grey to virtually white to another grey. Let's click OK. And then with our gradient tool, we can actually go ahead and create this. Now we can drag this left to right and we can create the gradient this way. We can go from the bottom left up to the top right or we can go top to bottom. So however you create it is up to you. And if you'd like it to be straight, you can hold shift as well. For this, I'm going to go bottom left to the top right. So I'm just going to drag like so from end to end. And you can see we have that darker gray down here 
We've got a nice sort of highlighted area in the middle and the darker gray again in the top right corner. But we can't see our brushed steel effect. Well, if I go to blending mode here and change normal to overlay, and voila, you can see that it blends through. So that's our original brushed steel effect. And this is what it looks like with an overlay set. And I can reduce the opacity down as well. In fact, I can bring this down as much as I like. So you can use the opacity as well as trying out some of the different blending modes to get the desired effect. So essentially, we're trying to blend together this silver gradient layer that we've created with our existing brushed steel effect. And if I just call this layer silver gradient, and you can name the layer just by double clicking on the text, typing a name and pressing enter. And something else that I can do is go to the adjustments icon at the bottom, select this and select from a number of these options. We've got brightness and contrast. So let's click that and we can drag the brightness slider up and we can increase that brightness and we can bring the contrast up a little bit as well. So this is before and this is with the brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Now something else we can also do is we can also create another adjustment layer. So we'll go hue and saturation this time. And if I select the colorize box, you can see that I can pick any color from the hue slider at the top. So we could go for a kind of blue brushed steel effect. So let's drag the hue slider to around blue. And the saturation, of course, you could drag this all the way to the right, but it looks awful. We're gonna actually drag this to the left so it's a bit more subtle. And we could drag the lightness down as well. So you can see here we can adjust all three of these options, the hue, the saturation, and the lightness, and we can get varying results. So if I drag the saturation all the way to the left, you know, that is completely desaturated, effectively grayscale. And I could bring that ever so slightly in, and it just gives it a little kind of blue tint to it. And as always, you can adjust the opacity of this. So the adjustment layers can also be adjusted. And we could even go and add a levels layer as well. And just bring those blacks down. And bring the whites up and then adjust the midtones as well. So from the adjustments icon at the bottom, you've got all of these different adjustment layers that you can play around with. You can use all of the different blending modes with each of those and then you've got the opacity to control the strength as well. So there is a lot of fun to be had and a lot of different settings that you can experiment with. And one last technique that I like to use to adjust the brightness as well. You can do it in hue and saturation but for me personally I just like to grab black, the fill tool and just fill solid black here and I'm just going to call this layer solid black and then just manually adjust that opacity so if i wanted a brushed steel effect that was very very dark there's lots of different ways you can achieve that effect you could even do it with brightness contrast hue and saturation or the levels but for me personally sometimes i like to just add a solid color not always black it might be white it might be red or blue but just add a solid color and then use the appropriate blending options or just bring the opacity down and it will just help that brushed steel effect show through, but it also has my color on top affecting the layers below it. And there we go. That's how to create a brushed steel effect in Adobe Photoshop. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.